so we are starting our day 3 lecture and uh, in last class we have understood the idea of absolute pressure gauge pressure total pressure etc now in today's class you understand uh, in last class we have understood that our absolute pressure this can be more than atmospheric also or this can be less than atmospheric also so in your atmospheric pressure whatever is extra that is your gauge pressure so this became one formula to calculate absolute pressure and another formula for the same absolute pressure is from your atmospheric pressure how much pressure is less that is your vacuum pressure so this is your second formula so two basic formulas we used to calculate absolute pressure and you know what uh, there is a very important concept uh, in case of rocket propulsion when you will go to rocket propulsion then there you will see that uh, actually how rocket propulsion works one small idea you understand like it used to be a rocket like this correct like this is the rocket so this much is your nozzle area i mean nozzle portion and uh, here you have combustion chamber part right so rocket engine we don't have to discuss in detail when rocket propulsion will come i will teach you uh, what to study what not to study in rocket propulsion and uh, here we keep Uh, all our belongings like payloads and uh, electronics items and everything so actually this part we consider as a chamber okay so in this chamber whatever pressure is being produced after gases are being burnt or after solid uh, fuel is being burned or after liquid fuel is being burned so that that pressure is actually chamber pressure so in most of the cases when you will study gas dynamics books they draw diagram like this okay and uh, this side this they say this is chamber okay so in this chamber you have certain pressure so that pressure is actually what kind of pressure so that is absolute pressure so you just mention here absolute pressure uh this is nothing but example total pressure in chamber total pressure in chamber okay this part we will discuss uh, in more detail when rocket propulsion classes will come in the last of our get preparation because rocket i used to teach in the last because it contains a uh, very small portion to finish so that's why in the beginning we will finish major portions now i am going to explain a uh, molecular interpretation of pressure because that is very important i'm changing the page so your next heading is molecular interpretation of pressure actually what happens here uh, suppose you have any chamber in this chamber you have gases so you know molecules will be in random motion in random directions so these molecules will be having different velocities also so suppose this molecule is having c1 velocity this molecule c2 velocity this molecule c3 velocity and so on right so every molecule is having different velocity so we bother about mean velocity mean velocity so this mean velocity we put c bar that is nothing but whatever molecules we have i will add all the velocities like c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus dot dot plus cn and that i will divide by n means number of molecules okay now this what i have written here this is coming from our basic 12th class this is explained by kinetic theory or collision theory explained by kinetic or collision theory and why this is important to discuss here actually we are trying to see this important concept at molecular level and why this is important because you know that in the chamber if chamber is closed then molecule will bombard on the chamber and they will apply our static pressure okay so we want to know that for every molecule how much velocity we should consider because every molecule is having different velocity so we want to go for a mean velocity so this is the mean velocity formula we have one more accurate velocity so accurate means this is one way to judge one velocity this is also mean velocity but this is not that accurate we will go for one more type of velocity that velocity we say root mean square velocity root mean square velocity in short we say rms 
So what is the formula to calculate RMS? This is one formula to calculate mean velocity. This is another formula to calculate RMS velocity. So that is nothing but under root c1 square plus c2 square plus dot dot, dot you can say plus cn square whole divided by n. Okay. Now the same root mean is square velocity will help you to calculate pressure in this chamber. That's why the calculation is important. So now if I'll go to third point, your pressure will become 1 by 3 rho times C RMS square. Make sure only this portion is squared. Okay. Rho is the density of the gas in the chamber and P is the pressure applied by the gas in the chamber. So like in last class I said we don't calculate static pressure but here I am giving you formula at microscopic level. Micro scopic level there will not be any question in gate aerospace based on this formula this i am giving just for exposure purpose okay not in gate ae but see this is like a tool so that's why i am considering this in the syllabus intentionally this portion i am adding in the syllabus intentionally just to create the background in same way uh, when molecules will hit the chamber they will produce pressure correct in same way we can also discuss temperature so i am changing the page now here we are going to discuss temperature okay actually uh, if you want to define temperature there is a very basic definition of temperature this is nothing but degree of hotness or coldness and one more thing you understand temperature is not heat don't be confused why because temperature has unit kelvin and heat has unit joule heat is a form of energy just a moment heat is a form of energy but temperature is not form of energy you have thermal energy that you can say as heat because of temperature there is difference when i will grow in the chapter you will understand this in detail so now uh, this is a basic definition of temperature now we are going to discuss units of temperature units of temperature so in units of temperature uh, you know very popular unit i will say degree celsius then we have Kelvin, we have degree Fahrenheit and then we have Rankine. Actually see, this Kelvin is absolute scale for degree Celsius and this Rankine is again absolute scale for degree Fahrenheit. What does it mean? Meaning is you know we have direct method to convert our degree celsius into kelvin so for that i will write down here actually if you want to calculate kelvin with the help of degree celsius then you will add 273.5 in this in same way here also you have calculation if you want to convert absolute temperature in rankine you can put degree fahrenheit and you will add here 459.67 okay now point is okay so this is the like four uh, formulas are there with the help of these four formulas you can find out but one more thing among i mean between these two variables also we have a connection that connection is that connection is here r by k is equal to 1.8 or you can write r is equal to 1.8 k okay so with the help of this formula this formula and this formula you can convert any standard value of temperature into any other unit out of this only one unit is your si unit make sure only kelvin is si unit even degree celsius is not si unit okay you have to convert into Kelvin 
for solving problems this is very common in fact everyone knows this now i am going to discuss why temperature exist in any system means why do we have temperature what is the main cause behind temperature this is very important fact i want to discuss like we know that okay something is hot something is cold why something is hot why why there is temperature i am changing the page so you just mention a new heading as molecular interpretation of temperature let's understand this actually see uh, first i'll give you one basic background suppose you have any chamber in this chamber you have gas so gas is nothing but bunch of molecules we have lot of molecules we have so these molecules are actually in motion so if these molecules are in motion then what will happen they will hit the surface when they will hit the surface then when you will touch the surface by physical contact then you will feel that there is temperature or you can put one thermometer here if you are putting one thermometer here then in thermometer you will be getting reading okay means yes there is a temperature so i am going to explain why there is temperature so temperature is directly related to random motion of the molecule if their kinetic energy is very fast then temperature will be more uh, i mean if they they have a very good kinetic energy very high kinetic energy then temperature is maximum so at molecular level temperature is related to kinetic energy or you can say kinetic energy is direct measure of temperature so some important points you mention here point 1 and uh, write like this at molecular level temperature is related to random motion of the molecules now second point you write temperature varies with the speed of molecule speed of molecules third point you write temperature is related to mean kinetic energy copied on this much so today official key came they have released the official key and students have got really good really really good marks some students i was bothering about them but finally they got good marks and now they are going to iit so whatever students i was expecting they should go to iit they are going to iit so today it is a good news for me and for all those old batch students they are going to iit and there is huge chance two student may go to iisc bangalore as well but uh, i have to take care of the admission process so just now before uh, half an hour only before the class uh, the key came right so they were actually uh, solving and seeing whatever is going on so they sent me they started sending me all the questions and all i mean uh, how many marks they have got so for some students uh, i was available for the call so a uh, lot of congratulations family talk uh, parents are calling and they are happy and uh, even for some students i did not expect their marks will be really good and we have just opposite side also that is dark side some students i expected to do really good but uh, they are getting less mark but anyway they will be going to iit because uh, what marks i was expecting they have done Uh, today they have uh, calculated their uh, answers with official key so they have done uh, mistakes so many mistakes they have done one student i was expecting to achieve 58 marks and uh, i was thinking that uh, she will be in top 10 but uh, uh, she is not getting 58 marks she has done so many silly mistakes it's like she got the answers uh, 0.9 and gate paper range is just 0.7 is acceptable she got answer as minus 0.3 but in uh, gate key uh, she as she is putting only 0.3 like these kind of small small mistakes she has done so anyway but again definitely she is going to uh, she is going to iit because whatever marks she is getting now that is again sufficient to uh, go to iit uh, but uh, uh, there are so many things what i have to guide them now uh, for the for their admission purpose so i will be in contact with them regularly they have to be in contact with me regularly so that i can guide them for the uh, proper iit and all now we are going to discuss uh, 
because of this kinetic energy and uh, this temperature concept we have a very important property that we call as Boltzmann constant. So I will change the page, take down B O L T Z M A double N Boltzmann constant. So what is Boltzmann constant? So symbol is K B and it has a formula R universal divided by A. This R universal is well known property. This is universal gas constant, common for uh, constant for all the gases. Universal gas constant. I will explain what is this. And A is your Avogadro number. A V O G A D R O Avogadro number. You know value of uh, universal gas constant is nothing but eight point eight point three one four three joule per mole Kelvin. Okay mole Kelvin and Avogadro number value everyone knows 0 0.023 into 10 to power 23 again here molecule per mole molecules per mole okay now if you will divide this value with this value I mean this value with this value then you are going to get the value of Boltzmann constant and this interesting value comes as 1.38043 into 10 to power minus 23 joule per Kelvin per molecule and why this data is important here you have a physical feel let's understand the physical feel see this is a constant number why this is a constant number because it is coming from two constant numbers okay now what is the physical feel here physical feel is see one point something into 10 to power something joule energy joule energy is stored in every molecule at every Kelvin temperature it means suppose you have a molecule a single molecule name of this molecule is a this molecule a this particular molecule a is at a particular Kelvin temperature that temperature is T Kelvin temperature so in this T Kelvin temperature how many Kelvins this molecule has according to that these many times I mean this much energy you will add you will add 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 okay suppose this is at T temperature and after some time this is having T plus 1 Kelvin new temperature so because 1 Kelvin temperature you are adding now so because of that this much kinetic energy will be added now I said kinetic energy yes why because molecules are having temperature molecules are having kinetic energy only because of temperature or you can say vice versa there is temperature existing in any any system because molecules are having kinetic energy so this is your average kinetic energy okay every molecule is having different kinetic energy right so we will discuss average kinetic energy so for that i'm changing the page you mention that kinetic energy is nothing but 3 by 2 this is your constant number then boltzmann constant also constant number and this temperature is in kelvin okay so this was the idea that temperature is actually giving you kinetic energy right and you can say vice versa kinetic energy is giving you temperature in the system so uh, this formula and uh, previous uh, whatever formulas i have given uh, on that formula you will not be getting direct question in gate aerospace they are just like a tool to understand the background because when i'll be teaching you combustion chamber there these concepts i'll be using in different way so now a specific volume a specific volume what is this property I am immediately shifting the topic I am coming to a specific volume what is specific volume a specific volume means uh, see any specific quantity in thermodynamics we use with small letters in English suppose I have any property P so this capital P means this is your total property and if I am bothering about specific then I will be writing a small p a small p means specific and you know a small p is nothing but total property divided by total mass so this is how we calculate a specific so in same way your specific volume we are going to represent as a small v and this is small v is going to be your capital v means total volume divided by total mass okay means suppose you have uh, any chamber in this chamber you have total volume you can calculate with the dimension so suppose total volume is 100 meter cube okay 
now in this 100 meter cube how much mass we are storing so suppose gases are inside and that mass is uh, 10 kg okay so you have three data here one is your total volume that is 100 one is your mass that is 10 both are NASA unit and then a specific volume that is nothing but total volume divided by mass that is nothing but 100 by 10 but if you will bother about unit now so this will come meter cube per kg right so answer is 10 meter cube per kg so this is the best example easy example to understand concept of a specific volume what is the meaning meaning is how much volume is occupied for per kg mass that is a physical meaning 10 volume or you can say 10 meter cube volume is occupied by every single kg uh, content gas right now because a specific volume i explained with the concept of this basic that we are going to divide everything by m but here we have one more note point a specific weight we don't calculate in this way for a specific weight we divide our weight by volume I am changing the page for a specific weight, a specific weight. So a specific weight is nothing but you can say uh, this is your total weight divided by total volume and it has one more formula and very useful in fluid mechanics, very very useful in fluid mechanics. Weight you can write as m into g, volume you write this and you know mass divided by volume gives you a new property rho rho means density and g so a specific weight is having this as a fundamental formula and this as the derived formula okay now we have something called uh, a specific gravity so a specific gravity why these things are i'm going in the beginning i'm giving in the beginning because uh, like slowly slowly these terms we are going to use so a specific volume, a specific weight, a specific gravity. So lot of specific terms are there. And only why I have chosen only these three things because here only students are having confusion. Remaining properties specific means simply divide by mass. But these properties specific volume, specific weight, specific gravity, they will create confusion. A specific gravity is also known as relative density. Relative density. Okay. Understand what is the meaning? So specific gravity or relative density we discuss uh, separate for gas and we discuss separate for liquid. Okay. Now in case of gases because it is relative means it is relative density means density of a gas with respect to some standard gas. Okay. So you can see you can say a specific gravity for gas is equal to density of gas density of gas divided by any standard gas that is nothing but air density of air density of air in same way in case of liquid uh, a specific gravity or you can say relative density for liquid is nothing but density of liquid density of liquid divided by density of water density of water okay uh, here we will solve one small problem and always remember one thing density of air uh, you may be taking density of air in your college days as 1.2256 this data is a constant data but it is constant if your temperature is 288 kelvin and your pressure is one atmospheric pressure then only air density you can consider this much that's why when I will be teaching you flight mechanics then there is a chapter called atmosphere in that so I will teach you density variation formula with altitude because pressure is not constant with altitude of course temperature is also not constant so density will not be constant so there I will teach you this part so now in case of liquid uh, density of water you see density of water now here you have to mention uh, this density of water is 1000 and of course SI unit I forgot to mention SI unit this data is for kg per meter cube and here also 1000 uh, kg per meter cube but important point 
here this data is available at 4 degree celsius if you change the temperature this data will slightly differ and here uh, we are not giving any condition for pressure because mostly water used to be uh, incompressible incompressible means if you change the pressure uh, water density will not change usually okay but in case of gas air if you change the pressure density will change quickly that's why here pressure is mentioned but here pressure is not mentioned i hope it's clear okay so means density of water if you are guiding someone if someone is asking what is the density of water then you should say density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube at 4 degrees celsius okay or if you are saying 1000 it means by default he or she is aware of the 4 degrees celsius right now here we will do one small problem i am changing the page problem is an unknown liquid is developed in the lab for rocket fuel to use on mars and it is found that its specific gravity is two times sorry is two is two what is the density of the liquid option 1 1000 kg per meter cube option 2 2000 2000 kg per meter cube option 3 3000 kg per meter cube option 4 none try this question first very good everyone is getting correct answer because we know that our uh, specific gravity is equal to density of liquid divided by density of water so from here density of liquid we have to calculate multiply this here a specific gravity is given as 2 into 1000 is equal to density of liquid so 2000 so this is the right answer and uh, make sure if they are not discuss discussing about uh, uh, about taking standard value of water but also you have to take the standard value of water so i have taken 1000 adds as a standard value of water here for the multiplication purpose for this density okay now we are going to change the topic immediately for the thermodynamic equilibrium okay now you do one thing uh, because uh, 35 minutes almost over so meeting is about to over so it is a fresh topic so everyone will join again okay i'm uh, ending the meeting join again now okay i can see some students are uh, joining the meeting leaving the meeting joining the meeting leaving the meeting they don't have proper wi-fi connection or internet guys uh, internet is very very important understand one thing if the same class you would have attending offline then for the offline classes you have to pay your transport right pay for petrol or vehicle or something something then only you can visit the offline class and in offline class you have time waste also in traveling so if teacher is good teacher will teach you everything same either offline class or online class so that money what you are saving in transport that money you can use for better internet connection okay so because one year we have to go so better internet connection is required so otherwise you will be joining you will be coming so two hours you will be wasting now i am going to start new topic fresh topic that is thermodynamic equilibrium so let's understand what is thermodynamic equilibrium and why it is important thermodynamic equilibrium okay see guys actually uh, like when we say a fit person like if a person is fit then uh, there are few things we consider about a fit person the first thing when you say fit person his health is really good okay uh, you can say money wise also the person is rich you can say the person is having proper friends and family okay like these things few things we consider together and then we say fit person right in same way thermodynamic equilibrium is the combination of four equilibriums so 
if you want to study thermodynamic equilibrium uh, first of all what is the meaning of equilibrium that we'll understand idea of equilibrium is suppose there is a chamber in this chamber you are keeping certain amount of water and certain amount of water vapor water vapor now see if you are seeing that suppose in the beginning you kept 2 kg vapor and 10 kg water so suppose you are seeing that our 2 kg vapor is started converting into water and when the new data is 1.5 kg and 10.5 kg then after that vapor conversion stopped so this situation you will say as equilibrium so this is one example of equilibrium where phase conversion is in equilibrium condition another equilibrium is suppose you have a mass on this mass uh, from here from here from here from all the unknown directions some forces f1 f2 f3 they are acting but finally what you are seeing this object is not moving in any direction it means these forces are cancelling out each other so this kind of equilibrium is force equilibrium right now imagine there is any object on this object you are applying suppose one force here one force here so suppose this is also 10 newton force this is also 10 newton force so this object will rotate like this right so here there is a problem force wise if you check like here then total force is zero because they are equal and opposite so total force is zero but still there is motion correct that motion is coming because of the moment so this is couple of force it is producing moment what is this exactly i will teach you during aircraft structure currently i am going to i am trying to give you idea that force should also be zero and final momentum should also be zero so if force is also zero and final momentum is also zero something wait wait i think karan is not able to join many students are not able to join because of internet issue i can see guys please take care of internet otherwise how will you attend the classes so i was saying that uh, this uh, force should also be zero and this moment should also be zero so if both are zero finally then we say mechanical equilibrium so in this example uh, i gave different uh, type of equilibrium in this example i gave different type of equilibrium so actually there are total four equilibriums we have to discuss and i'm changing the page one example i am giving you now example for temperature so suppose this body is at 20 degree celsius this body is at 30 degree celsius when you will bring them closer uh, like physical contact then what will happen from high temperature to low temperature heat flow will occur because of heat flow then finally they will maintain a common temperature correct and then there will not be any heat flow so this is thermal equilibrium so now list down a system is in thermodynamic equilibrium you write the full form if system possess these four equilibriums in that the first equilibrium is you just mentioned thermal equilibrium second equilibrium you mention chemical equilibrium third equilibrium you mention mechanical equilibrium fourth you mention phase equilibrium thermal equilibrium you just inside this you write down your first point uniform temperature everywhere if there is thermal equilibrium then everywhere uniform temperature already you got the idea now second point you write no temperature gradient in the system no temperature gradient because if there will be temperature gradient it means okay for some students gradient can be a new word okay so i have made a very dedicated video long back before three four uh, four years and that is available on youtube you ask me in whatsapp whatsapp message I will give you that or you can just search 
कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्रेडियंट कॉन्सेप्ट लाइब्रेरी ओके सो यू विल बी गेटिंग दैट दैट वीडियो दैट इज आई थिंक फाइव मिनट्स वीडियो एंड आई हैव गिवन अ वेरी फिजिकल फीलिंग ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रेडियंट ओके सो नो टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट नाउ इन केस ऑफ केमिकल इक्लिबरियम वॉट इज द आइडिया सो हियर यू विल राइट डाउन योर फर्स्ट पॉइंट यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन एवरीवेयर सो यू विल मैंशन यूनिफॉर्म केमिकल कंपोजिशन एवरीवेयर सेकेंड पॉइंट यू मैंशन लाइक हियर यू डोंट हैव टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट सो हियर यू शुड नॉट हैव डेंसिटी ग्रेडियंट और कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट सो यूल मैंशन नो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट सो अगेन दिस ग्रेडियंट वर्ड इज कमिंग राइट सो दैट्स वाई दैट वीडियो इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू वॉच सो जस्ट फाइंड आउट बिकॉज आई हैव गिवन फिजिकल फील ऑलरेडी इन दैट वीडियो सो वी कैन सेव अवर टाइम दैट वीडियो इज ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन डायरेक्टली वॉच दैट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज नो केमिकल रिएक्शन नो केमिकल रिएक्शन नाउ इन केस ऑफ मैकेनिकल इक्लिब्रियम यू नो इन केस ऑफ मैकेनिकल इक्लिब्रियम Uh, your final force should be zero, and your uh, final momentum should also be zero. Two conditions are there, right? Then we go for phase equilibrium. So, in case of phase equilibrium, actually, phase means solid, liquid, gas. All the three things are present together, but any one phase is not converting into any other phase. That is the meaning of phase equilibrium. Correct. so uh, phase equilibrium you just mention mass of one phase should be constant if different phases are together i because you have understood the physical concept so no need to go into more detail now we have to understand a very important process in thermodynamics and because equilibrium part over you have understood thermodynamic equilibrium now i am going to jump to the new uh, idea of quasi static process this is important now i am changing the page okay first you complete and tick on the screen then i will change the page okay very good okay now i am changing the page <coughs> so see here i am going to discuss quasi static process q u a s i quasi static process so actually this quasi static process is important to understand suppose uh, when i say that uh, right now uh, on my screen time is 9:13 and uh, after few seconds sorry after few uh moment it will go for 914 so in this case time is jumping by 1 second okay but there are some special watches in in wrist watch also we have some varieties where second is also splitted into so many times right and that clock will be running very fast so i mean to say suppose i have a chamber in this i am keeping a gas and this gas is at a particular pressure p1 volume v1 density rho1 enthalpy h1 internal energy u1 and whatever we want to add extra thing 111111 okay now i am testing that thermodynamic equilibrium is there or not so i found that there is thermodynamic equilibrium okay now i made some changes in the system because of those changes the same system is having new pressure p2 new volume v2 and something 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 2 2 2 everything now again i am testing suppose here pressure is 10 pascal and suppose here pressure is 20 pascal and now again i am testing that this uh, system is in thermodynamic equilibrium or not so i found yes it is in thermodynamic equilibrium now my point is directly from 10 to 20 i cannot come correct i cannot come because on line number if you see if here you have 10 here you have 20 so in between you have so many numbers 
integers are also there decimal numbers are also there so my pressure of 10 pascal to 20 to uh, 20 pascal will go through these numbers so when i was passing through every number then i was having uh, thermodynamic equilibrium or not i was maintaining thermodynamic equilibrium or not okay so if i want to achieve such fun such such case where my system is changing its state from one state to another state and definitely system is going through all small small states so i have to make sure that at every state system should be equilibrium or not system should be in equilibrium and if you want to develop this kind of situation in real life then this this phase change should be very slow then only we can maintain equilibrium at these these uh, intermediate points so the idea is quasi static process quasi means almost static means rest or stationary or you understand right static means rest or stationary you can say means here we are trying to change the state from this state to this state but we but we are doing it very slowly how much slowly that much slowly that it feels like it is in rest so that we are maintaining the equilibrium maintaining the equilibrium maintaining the equilibrium and finally we are reaching to a new state and there also equilibrium is maintained okay so suppose i am changing the page suppose i am making any process on pv diagram suppose this is the process line so at this coordinate i have certain p1 v1 uh, value and at this coordinate i have certain p2 v2 value so in between also i have so many p1 uh, i mean p dash p double dash p triple dash all values are there right so suppose you have suppose you have 10 points or you can see you have 100 points or you have 1 lakh points so many points are there at every point the system should be in equilibrium so they if they all are equilibrium states then only you will say this process is quasi static process i hope you understood the idea behind so you just take down point one quasi static process is thermodynamic process that proceeds i am using a word infinitesimally slowly infinitesimally means extremely extremely small when something is extremely small then you will say infinitesimally i n f i n i t e s i m a double l y infinitesimally slowly so that every uh, state in between initial and final states is at equilibrium okay and if this is being followed then you will say process is reversible okay now here i am going to discuss types of process because uh, now it is mandatory to discuss we are about to touch some important points in thermodynamics now so you take down this so now i am going to explain types of process types of process now in case of type of types of process uh, again our classification will be based on some features so my first classification is based on reversibility so based on reversibility now in this case we have two types of process one is reversible process and next one is irreversible process now i will explain the meaning of reversible process and irreversible process guys suppose we have a system and something is happening with the system because of that system is giving some heat out 
so suppose 10 joule heat came out because of this 10 joule heat nearby surrounding is being affected so because of suppose because of this 10 joule heat just i'm trying to uh, give you some physical feel so when this 10 joule heat came out the nearby surrounding suppose this became somewhat red color suppose this became somewhat red color the nearby surrounding now again i am trying to send this 10 joule heat inside see step one what was step one heat is coming out to the to the surrounding from system okay now what is step two in, in step two i am sending this heat back again to the system so two things i will check when i am sending this heat again back to the system whether my system is gaining its original state or not because before sending 10 joule the system will be at some pressure some volume some density some enthalpy right some temperature in same way when heat will come out these properties will change now again i am sending heat inside so i will make sure that whether system is gaining these properties again or not if system is not gaining these properties again then definitely it is irreversible process it is not reversible at the same time we can also judge like this if 10 joule is going inside the system whether this surrounding is coming back to its original color or not or is still some red color is there if some little bit red color is remaining then we say no 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 it is not reversible process it is irreversible process means in simple word we say uh, in case of reversible process there will not be any trail t r a i l trail remaining in the surrounding okay means there will not be any kind of hint clue or something remaining that heat came out from the system to the surrounding and that heat has gone okay i hope you understood what is the meaning of reversible process so uh, reversible process in real life we don't have reversible process we have irreversible process so now if you have like in real life all the process is irreversible so if this is being followed that some trails are definitely remaining in the outside surrounding so question comes why when i am sending 10 joule outside then we have changes in system also then we have changes in surrounding also but when i am sending heat back to the system then still i am not able to recover entire change some changes are still as a hysteresis loop still they are there why they are there so they have done some research they have done the job what are the main causes of irreversibility why there is irreversibility so this irreversibility we are going to discuss causes so changing the page take down reasons for irreversibility in that you take down your first reason is heat transfer itself heat transfer itself now why because when you do heat transfer heat transfer is transient form of energy so heat transfer will go to the surrounding so molecules will change its nature so when we'll bring heat transfer they are not coming back okay what is again reason behind that no need to discuss that simply like heat transfer is one of the reason of irreversibility the next thing friction is one of the reason of irreversibility then viscosity is one of the reason for this actually friction word mostly we use for solids and same friction uh, when it is liquid we say viscosity so in case of liquid the same friction we say as viscosity now uh, we have two types of viscosity one is kinematic viscosity one is dynamic viscosity again on this viscosity i have made a dedicated lecture of five minutes you just type uh, dynamic viscosity and kinetic viscosity on youtube and just put concept library so my video will come and you will watch the video what is the difference between kinematic and dynamic viscosity okay now uh, if you are watching this video lecture first you jump to this youtube video and then you come back to video lecture but in live class you continue with me 
now you go for the fourth one there are some deformations we used to have like strain strain word i will teach you in aircraft uh, structure so plastic deformation also causes plastic deformation also causes irreversibility then in electrical engineering you have a resistance that causes in electrical engineering you have hysteresis in the matter hysteresis like some magnetism and all okay and uh, some thermodynamic examples you see when you are mixing substances spontaneous mixing of substances also produce irreversibility is spontaneous mixing of substances at different composition or state this will also produce irreversibility then of course eighth one is chemical reactions they will also produce irreversibility and ninth one free expansion this will also create irreversibility now idea is if there is like something is happening suppose any reaction is happening and of course you understood that in real life that reaction will be having irreversibility then how much irreversibility is there how much irreversibility is there in the system in the reaction how much irreversibility so to measure the irreversibility we have introduced a new property in science that we call as entropy okay so entropy i will teach you later okay copy this then i will change the page so now i am going to explain based on process index based on process index what is process index i will explain now see guys what i am doing i am trying to give you types of uh, reactions like sorry types of processes in thermodynamics so one process i explained based on reversibility reversibility so there i said if there is a reversibility then uh, we have to calculate entropy now uh, based on process index what is the meaning and one more thing uh, in this list only heat transfer friction and viscosity you have to discuss for aerospace department remaining things we don't have to discuss for aerospace gate so when the gas dynamics and propulsion will start i mean jet jet engine then you will see that wherever there is heat transfer or friction or viscosity i am saying that there is irreversibility and because of irreversibility total pressure is changing blah blah things are happening so these things that's why this is important to discuss what causes irreversibility so keep in mind heat transfer friction and viscosity these people are helpful for us they causes irreversibility so based on process index so uh, process index you can understand with this diagram pv diagram is there so if you are doing if you are drawing a, a straight line like this you are drawing a straight line like this it means your pressure is constant pressure is constant means how will you judge if you will do line like this it means volume is constant okay so i am giving you a general equation pv power n is equal to constant so for what value of n get my logic for what value of n you will be getting this straight line i am again repeating here p is pressure v is volume c is constant so for what value of n you will be getting this straight line so it is very clear for n is equal to 0 this total term became 1 so pressure is equal to constant pressure is equal to constant lines are known as can anyone recall the name perfect pressure is equal to constant lines are known as isobaric lines so this guy is your isobaric line now can you tell me for what value of n you will be getting this line give a try perfect infinite so for n is equal to infinite you will be getting this line okay uh, so this line name is isochoric line isochoric c h o r i c isochoric line okay now i will draw uh, another equation where i want to mention that here you can see isobaric line pressure is equal to constant 
here volume is equal to constant and now i want to say temperature is equal to constant so for that i'll be drawing a separate line so temperature is equal to constant suppose i am drawing this line okay so temperature is equal to constant what does it mean you have a equation in chemistry pv is equal to nrt or you can say pv is equal to mrt or you can say p is equal to rho rt anyway there are several several formats are available i am picking this format okay and i am trying to say if temperature is equal to constant then of course mass of the gas will be constant and r for the gas is already constant so these three things are constant so what i am achieving i am achieving pv is equal to constant it means what for temperature is equal to constant equation pv is equal to constant is being used so pv is equal to constant if you compare with pv power n is equal to constant then what is the value of n n is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 means this line is your isothermal line isothermal line now point is how will you know that pv is equal to constant line will be like this why can't it be like this or like this or something else because you know in mathematics if you have x y is equal to constant then this used to be a rectangular hyperbola okay so this is your isothermal line which is actually hyperbolic line rectangular hyperbola right okay so you can clearly see that this is n is equal to 0 and this is your n is equal to 1 which is uh, isothermal line and this is n is equal to infinite it means what n value is increasing in this direction right so i am changing the page uh, no i can actually erase uh, i can actually erase now i want to mention here if i am talking about the fourth one see isobaric process clear isochoric process clear isothermal process clear now i have another important process and very very important for gate aerospace that is our adiabatic process adiabatic process so adiabatic process you understand when you are using n is equal to gamma then equation becomes pv power gamma is equal to constant so this equation is for adiabatic process adiabatic process now you should know the gamma value okay so gamma has so many values but for our interest we are choosing mono atomic gas for mono atomic gas then we are choosing diatomic gas and we are choosing triatomic gas okay so for mono atomic gas gamma value is 1 point can someone anyone remember the date of gamma here very good very good for mono atomic gas the value of gamma is 1.67 for for diatomic gas what is the value for diatomic very good for diatomic gas gamma value is 1.44 and for triatomic for triatomic 1.33 very good 1.33 so we got our one value two value and three value for gamma value okay so this for monoatomic gas this for diatomic for triatomic so you can see uh, i am changing the page uh, if i am drawing a pv diagram for uh, graph for adiabatic process in contrast with iso thermal process so first you draw isothermal line and here you mention pv is equal to constant it is very clear that it is isothermal now i want to draw adiabatic line so for adiabatic line i will draw one line like this you can see here intersection and i will draw one line like this and i will draw one line like this and you can see this line was for n is equal to 0 and uh, this line was for n is equal to infinite n value is increasing in this direction correct so this value is n is equal to 1 so whatever values i have available for gamma that only will make pv power gamma is equal to constant 
सो गामा हैज़ फोर वैल्यूज सॉरी थ्री वैल्यूज फॉर मोनोटॉमिक वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फॉर डायटॉमिक वन पॉइंट फोर फॉर टाइटॉमिक वन पॉइंट थ्री और यू कैन से थ्री थ्री सो इफ यू सी द वैल्यूज द स्मॉलर वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट थ्री सो दिस लाइन इज फॉर वन पॉइंट थ्री गामा दिस लाइन इज वन पॉइंट फोर गामा दिस लाइन इज वन फॉर सिक्स सेवन गामा आई होप इट्स वेरी क्लियर करेक्ट एनी डाउट इन दिस डायग्राम हाउ टू अरेंज द गामा वैल्यूज इफ नो डाउट देन वी कैन गो अहेड ओके सो आई विल समराइज यर क्विकली फर्स्ट यू कॉपी डाउन द डायग्राम why i have done uh, in contrast of isothermal because you can see the slope here that here isothermal is having less slope but adiabatic is more slopey here right all the three lines are more slopey they have more slope on pv diagram and this was your uh, isobaric and this was your isochoric it means for adiabatic you can choose any one diagram this or this or this according to the gamma value okay now suppose you don't have uh, isobaric isochoric isothermal or adiabatic in real life then what will you do then in real life we call the process as polytropic process okay so polytropic process is that process where your index value is neither zero nor these values nor infinite other than these values if any other value will be there then you will say polytropic process right so for polytropic process uh you can say that okay suppose for, suppose this is zero and this is one okay so between zero and one if you are having any line so you can say okay suppose i'm giving you n is equal to 0.5 so where will where will it pass it will pass like this right in between this and if i'm giving you suppose uh, n is equal to 6 so where this line will pass this line will pass like this right it will pass like this okay not clear on my diagram but i hope you understood clear in this direction okay i am changing the page now uh, our uh, process uh, classification is based on volume and pressure change third is based on volume or volume and pressure so i was taking under classification classification of process based on volume and pressure actually uh, this kind of volume and pressure variation based processes are very important because when i'll be teaching you jet engine then in compressor uh, compression is happening and in turbine expansion is happening so this compression and expansion things in detail you will discuss in jet engine topic but because you have a small link present because you have one small link present so uh, you just mention here two types of process we are going to discuss based on volume and process uh, and pressure one is expansion in expansion volume will increase pressure will decrease and second one is compression in compression volume will decrease and pressure will increase and with the help of these two basic ideas i will explain uh, compressor concepts and turbine concepts later in jet engine topic now we are going to discuss the idea about energy i am changing the page okay first you copy down now before going to energy uh, i want to ask one question based on the previous uh, graph like here whatever graph we have done based on this graph so i am changing the page for the question suppose i am giving a question a system has initial volume of 10 meter cube and initial pressure of 50 pascal now case 1 system decreases its volume up to 4 meter cube by maintaining isothermal process and 
reaches to a pressure of p case 1 now i have case 2 system decreases its volume up to 4 meter cube by maintaining a polytropic process with index with polytropic index with polytropic index 3 and reaches to a pressure of p case 2 okay now i am erasing first line second line choose the correct option so option 1 p case 1 is greater than p case 2 option 2 p case 1 is less than p case 2 option 3 p case 1 is equal to p case 2 option 4 none what do you think which option is correct nowadays gate paper is being fully conceptual so you have to bother about concepts in detail of course formula should be 100% ready good guys tick your answer on my screen students if you are thinking uh, this problem is tough or you are not understanding how to solve then actually your apt knowledge is very weak so no doubt uh, you have to work hard if you know how to approach the question very good right answer wrong answer based on logical reasoning but approach should be visible i will uh, give you solution now very good try i can see three question three options are there one student is saying equal one student is saying case one will be larger case two will be larger three students here three students here one here remaining are not replying okay now see the idea uh, i am changing the page see on this pv diagram first you draw this is p and this is v first you draw your isothermal line so this is your t is equal to constant line and then you draw your this line so suppose this is your uh, uh polytropic line where uh, pv power n is equal to constant is being used and n is equal to 6 is there you can check in the question it is mentioned polytropic index is 3 sorry 3 is there so anyway 3 6 doesn't matter main intention is here your n value is 1 consider this was your uh volume of 10 meter cube so at this volume you maintained a particular pressure correct so in the beginning system was having some pressure so now what will happen when you will decrease your volume and when you will come to the 4 meter cube then you can see if you are following this path then you will reach to this pressure this is your pressure of case 1 but if you are following this path then you will reach to this pressure so this is your pressure of case 2 so you can clearly see pressure of case 1 is more than pressure of case 2 so uh option 1 is the correct option i hope i have not done any mistake in explanation if anyone is having any doubt ask without now itself 
okay now i'm going ahead for the explanation of energy so see here a new topic energy so what is the proper basic definition of energy so energy is ability of the system to do work okay now uh, here again we have a reference frame like what kind of energy you want to see you want to see energy at macroscopic energy for example if i have a cup of tea and this cup of tea is kept on the table so this cup is not moving so you will say cup is not having kinetic energy but suppose if this cup is having a particular height from the ground then you will say because of the cg of the cup and because of the earth ground earth uh, surface you have particular height so using mgh you can say you have some potential energy in the cup so kinetic energy zero potential energy zero but what was your approach to discuss these two energies your approach was macro m a c r o microscopic approach but can i ask that at microscopic approach do we have kinetic energy so what will you say no are you going to say that kinetic energy is zero so at microscopic also kinetic will be zero no 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 why because at microscopic view we are talking about molecules right so those molecules are having temperature i mean of course the t t is having temperature so kinetic energy will be there in the molecules so based on macroscopic also you have uh, energies and uh, based on mi microscopic also you have energies but you have to make sure so only this much is enough to understand the energy that okay depends on reference frame so you take down first one based on reference frame reference frame means micro or uh, micro so first one as you put a first one is ma uh, m a c r macroscopic so in this you have two types of energies one is kinetic energy one is potential energy okay now second one is micro in micro actually energies are based on degree of freedom of the molecule degree of freedom of the molecule okay and it is also based on activity of the molecule so these things no need to discuss because anyway we are not going inside this we are only bothering about these two already i have explained in previous lecture why not to bother about molecules at molecular level now we are going to discuss what type of like this is one classification now there is another classification some types of energies you can store some types of energies you can't store so that is also one classification so that is our second classification go ahead changing the page so yes akash what is your doubt that is uh, let's go ahead now so based on storability you can store what kind of energy you can't store what kind of energy we have to discuss there so based on storability now see first one here you have translational sorry transitional 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 means energies what in motion actually some energies you can't store they are in motion example heat example work these energies are there always in motion you can't store work you can't store heat if you want to store them you have to change the format now two second one is stored energy is stored energy what kind of energies you can store like they are storable actually you know that uh, energies we are storing in battery correct like potential energy you can store there are some types of energies you can store some types of energy you can't store so when slowly slowly time will come i will be explaining otherwise right now it will be very boring and hectic to list down all the energies now we are going to discuss another form of energy that is internal energy very very important internal energy very very important because internal energy we are going to discuss in detail so first of all first point you should know internal energy is the function of temperature in molecules internal energy used to be present so first thing it is a function of temperature this is your first point second point 
internal energy is having its own fundamental formula mass of the gas into specific heat at con uh, at constant volume into whatever temperature is available if these three things you will multiply you will be having internal energy now if you have internal energy like what is the role of internal energy so because of internal energy because of internal energy only your molecules will show translation motion translation motion in 3d 3d means in x y z direction now because of internal energy only those molecules will rotate now because of internal energy only those molecules will show vibration motion they can vibrate okay so these are the degree of freedom of the molecules i will change the page for better explanation purpose okay i can explain here suppose you have okay wait i will explain on next page first you copy down this now i am going to explain with the diagram what is the meaning see here a uh, translation means linear motion rotation already you understand vibration you understand i will explain here see suppose i have a chamber in this chamber i have a gas i am saying this gas is diatomic this gas has diatomic molecules only i am taking another case here i am saying i have different gas gas 1 gas 2 in this gas i am saying i have triatomic molecules now if you have diatomic molecules so suppose one molecule is uh, in in diatomic molecule diatomic means two atoms will be there right in every molecule two atoms that's why diatomic so one atom here and one atom here so suppose this atom name is a this atom name is, is b now in case of triatomic molecule suppose you have three atoms one is here one is here one is here okay and here atom name is p q r actually see this entire system they can move in x direction they can move in y direction they can move in z direction same thing here this entire system they can move in x direction they can move in y direction they can move in z direction okay so this system is also having 3 degree of freedom this system is also having 3 degree of freedom because they can do translation so 3 degree of freedom they have now understand about this axis they can rotate also correct about that axis they can rotate so here one extra rotation is coming but in this case you have more rotations possible how about p also the system can rotate about q also system can rotate about r also system can rotate so you can see degree of freedom is increasing if you have triatomic molecule so triatomic molecules will have more internal energy because they can show you more types of motion okay now so translation over rotation over what about vibration so in first system in this one they can vibrate inside they can go outside this kind of vibration is possible only this vibration is possible but in third molecule see in this case what kind of vibration is possible they all can they all can come together and they all can go away this is one type of vibration correct other than that one more random like they are coming closer but they are going away like these kind of vibrations are i mean different types of vibrations are coming why are the vibrations what kind of energy is supporting these phenomena so internal energy is supporting these kind of phenomena i hope it's clear so actually internal energy is stored in the molecule so this is the example of stored energy okay this is the example of stored energy this is one of the stored energy so you just mention here internal energy is one of the one of the stored energies i am changing the page now see here now you mention in detail what is stored energy stored energy detail is very clear see everything all types of energies whatever you can store so uh example uh, what types of energies you can store potential energy you can store yes chemical energy you can store yes like where chemical energy is, is being stored see how uh, chemical energy in our jet engine when you supply fuel so the fuel is actually chemical 
so when it is reacting with air and burning from where energy is coming the fire from where it is coming because it, it is stored in the chemistry it is stored in the chemical bonding okay i hope it's clear and other thing is uh, internal energy like i explained for vibration and rotation and those things it is responsible okay now uh, i want to give you basic idea of kinetic energy so we have two types of kinetic energy one is linear and one is angular linear kinetic energy formula whole world knows very well half mv square angular kinetic energy formula some students may not be aware half i omega square where i is your moment of inertia omega is your angular velocity these things i will teach you in detail uh, in bridge course classes and in aircraft structure classes now you also understand uh, you will also just understand about moment of inertia uh, in aircraft structure classes okay now uh, cause of kinetic energy so you mention it is only because of motion now in motion you are you write linear or angular or both copy down this okay now we are going to discuss like the way we have discussed kinetic energy we will discuss potential energy i am changing the page understand potential energy what is the meaning of potential energy so in case of uh, potential energy what is the cause of potential energy it is because of uh, position it is because of twist it is because of compression you can say like change in shape and size or position like on average i am saying energy passes by a system because of its shape size or position okay so like for example like i said shape so shape means uh, suppose you have any shape like uh, this is the shape of triangle you want to convert this into circle so uh, amount of potential energy will be different if you want to understand in more detail you try to recall your 12th class one charge is sitting here one charge is sitting here at the triangle this question we used to solve right okay now if you bring this charge here at this position so your shape of this stencil will change stencil will change right so potential will change so uh, here that that's what the idea was but actually every potential energy formula we don't have to remember uh, we have to remember some popular formulas like gravitational potential energy that formula is mgh then another, another formula is potential energy of spring that is half kx square of course you can also mention potential energy of two masses that is g m1 m2 by r square sorry sorry r not a square a square if you do square it will become gravitational force and uh, another example you can say strain energy strain energy these energies slowly slowly you'll understand when different different portions of aerospace syllabus will come into contact like half into stress into strain you can write down properly half into stress into strain so you can see actually potential energy formula is not only mgh because mostly when you ask to students what is the formula of potential energy they will say mgh no you should ask the cross question which potential energy you are asking right so uh, then we'll go for total stored energy so that is nothing but sum of all types of potential energy all types of kinetic energy all types of internal energy so that will be your total uh, stored energy so for that uh, i'll change the page uh, total stored energy that is nothing but your internal energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy if object is moving then kinetic energy will be stored in the object okay because it has formula half mv square so mass is stored and velocity will be there so you can actually store the kinetic energy until the it is in motion okay uh, now 
I have to explain the concept of enthalpy, which is very important concept. Concept of enthalpy. Concept of enthalpy. Yeah, which part? I will explain. Yeah, yeah. So now, concept of enthalpy. So in concept of enthalpy, it goes like understand. Uh, suppose you have a chamber. In this chamber, I have certain molecules. So these molecules will be having their internal energy, correct? And this internal energy is giving you linear motion. This is giving you vibrational motion. This is giving you rotational motion. Okay. Now, other than that, in this uh, chamber, you have some pressure and you have volume. So, if you multiply pressure quantity with volume, this multiplication is also giving you a type of energy. So, enthalpy is nothing but some enthalpy is nothing but sum of this internal energy plus this product of pressure into volume you can say this is kind of all possible energies of the system this system is closed okay this system is closed you can also discuss enthalpy in open system so for that uh, i am drawing here Suppose there is a open system like a pipe in this there is a water flow or any gas flow or anything. So at a particular cross section you will be having enthalpy H. Okay. And uh, this enthalpy you will consider as C. Actually in case of macroscopic level enthalpy plays very important role. Other than enthalpy, you will be having kinetic energy here and you will be having potential energy here. But in most of the thermodynamics and gas dynamics and aircraft propulsion numericals, this potential energy we ignore. Okay. But kinetic energy and enthalpy we consider. So in case of a closed system, your enthalpy only will be the total energy. But in case of flow system like this enthalpy with kinetic energy ignoring potential energy so these two together will be your total energy at the section now if you want to bother about a specific enthalpy you simply divide your total enthalpy by mass so for that i am writing here a specific enthalpy a small h is equal to total enthalpy by mass copy down this so now we will go ahead and we will solve one small problem i am changing the page this is kind of gate a mock question two marks msq gate a mock question marks to msq this question is not in test series this question i am giving separate now you see which of the following group possess same unit okay first msq means MSQ means multiple select. You have to do multiple select. So first one uh, is I'm giving you enthalpy, internal energy and kinetic energy. Same unit I'm asking. Second group, pressure, force into area. Third group, enthalpy, pressure into volume fourth group internal energy pressure into volume temperature now choose which group have 
सेम यूनिट्स टिक 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 ऑन द स्क्रीन वेरी गुड अटेम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन थिंक वेल दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन यू कांट लूज टू मार्क्स हियर ओके नाउ माय एक्सप्लेनेशन यू अंडरस्टैंड सी गाइस एंथेल्पी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस पी वी राइट सो दे बोथ मस्ट हैव सेम यूनिट देन ओनली दे विल बी गिविंग यू यूनिट ऑफ एंथेल्पी सो पी वी एंड एच दे शुड हैव सेम यूनिट सो दिस इज वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन प्रेशर इज हैविंग यूनिट पासकल बट फोर्स इन टू एरिया इज नॉट प्रेशर ओके फोर्स बाई एरिया इज प्रेशर सो हियर दिस गाय दिस गाय दिस गाय दे ऑल आर एनर्जी अगेन दे हैव सेम यूनिट अगेन यू दिस यू एंड दिस पी वी दे हैव सेम यूनिट बट बिकॉज ऑफ टेम्परेचर इट इज नॉट सेम सो दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट एंड दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट ए एंड सी आर करेक्ट ओके नाउ हु स्टूडेंट्स हु आर सेलेक्टिंग ए एंड सी ओनली दे विल बी गेटिंग टू मार्क्स स्टूडेंट हु आर सेलेक्टिंग ओनली ए दे विल बी गेटिंग जीरो मार्क्स स्टूडेंट्स हु आर सेलेक्टिंग ओनली सी दे विल ऑल्सो बी गेटिंग जीरो मार्क्स इट्स नॉट लाइक आउट ऑफ टू करेक्ट ऑप्शन इफ यू हैव गिवन वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन then you will be getting half mark no all correct options you have to mention in your msq exam okay okay then uh, that's all for tonight we'll stop class and you guys can ask your doubt stay with me ask your doubt